Welcome back. We are making almond butter cookies. I love things like this crunchy flour cookies, almond flour with pecan, whatever. So I'm once again listing all the ingredient measurements right here. I'm just gonna go over really quickly on what I'm using. We have chia seeds, coconut oil, almond butter, brown rice flour, coconut sugar, applesauce, salt, baking soda or baking powder instead of soda. Don't know if it really matters. And I am adding myself cinnamon because I love cinnamon. And you know what? That's what we're gonna do. Let's get up and close and start this up. All right, the first step is that we need to mix ground chia seeds with warm water. Now, I had the kettle going, warm water is done. This thing is by chia seeds are not grounded. So we're going to use the old trusty dusty food process. Processor. Hopefully this works. I don't know if it's working. Yeah, I don't think it's working. I think it just looks the same. So it says to basically whisk together the warm water and chia seeds. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add the warm water in here. I think it'll mix better. Yes, we'll find out. Okay, I added it in there. Hopefully this works. If not, well. I don't think it's working. Well, we're just gonna yell it and just assume this is good because it says to mix it too. So I think that's the best we're gonna do. And then now we're going to add the dry ingredients. So I will take you to the next station. Welcome to the next station. So it's in here. You see it look goopy. Now it's the dry ingredients, okay? Oh, maybe, wait, wet ingredients. Applesauce is wet. Oops, forgot about that. So let me open this. So instead of putting it back in the processor, we're going to measure out applesauce and just whisk it vigorously, I guess. It says one fourth cup, so I am eyeing it. I think that's too much. Okay, put it in there. Boop, 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 boop. And now let's just mix it all. It says with a wooden spoon, but I'm not trying to get more dishes dirty. So we're gonna use this. Wow, listen to that ASMR. All right, so now let's get the dry ingredients in. <coughs> oh, it's just, <coughs> oops, okay. Oh my God, am I stupid? Yes, don't answer that. There's a lot more ingredients that need to be mixed. Uh, this almond butter, the almond, it's very gross and nasty, ew. Look at that, it's the oils. You're just gonna mix it up so it's fine. So we need a cup of this. Blah, 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 blah. Can you see? No? Yes, you can. Okay, we're doing one cup. This is gonna take a while. Am I gonna use this whole jar? Who knows? We're about halfway there. Spoons. I like spoons. All right, that's too big. And this. Oh my God. Almost there. I'm making a mess. This is the chunky version. I don't recommend getting the chunky version for this, but this is what I have, so we're gonna use that. All right, close enough, do that. Actually, I'm gonna need this, and let's dump it in. Mmm, yummy. Okay, and then next we need is coconut sugar in there. As you can tell, it's not wet, but it's saying it's part of the wet ingredient, so we're gonna do that. First, I'm going to rinse this out, dry it out, so I can not get coconut sugar stuck to the whole thing. It is dry. All right, so we need to do one four cup of coconut sugar. Let me measure it up, and we did it. It's on the line, wow. And I still got some stuck, but pretty dry. Now we gotta mix all that. Okay, and then we'll add the rest. So I'm gonna use this trusty dusty. Let's, uh, hmm. Put that there. I'm gonna have to wipe down this counter. Uh, time to mix again. Look at this go. All right, it's mixed. Mm. There's also, like I said, it was chunky, so it's gonna have chunks in there, which is fine. Gives it a crunch. Now we're gonna do brown flour and sea salt. We are mixing that up and basically going to mix it up, like in, in here. Let's start with the little stuff and work our way up. So the little stuff would be the salt. We need half a teaspoon, boom, in. And then we need another half teaspoon while I put it away. Boop, there we go. And then on this part, I'm also gonna add the cinnamon. I'm gonna put one teaspoon. I believe that should be good, right? Hopefully, I just have a little bit left in this. And we have, boop, done. So let's mix this up real quick before I add the flour, because that's a lot of flour we have to add. Mix, mix, mix. All right, mixed. Now comes the flour, which I've noticed there's also a brownie recipe. <laughs> My dog's barking. My parents are like, shh, he's filming. We're doing uh, one and a half cups of this, right? So let's do, let's mix the half in real quick. I don't know, isn't there a thing of like over mixing? I don't know, I think there is. So we're mixing this in just a little, okay? And now let's add the full cup. Oh, fuck. Full cup, boop, in, brown rice, done. And now we mix this till it's a dough. Wow, I'll be back. 
All right, I think it's 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 mixed. It's it's a dough. So final step is to take your sheet. I already preheated the oven uh, from the start. Uh, it's three, excuse me, 350 degrees. So next is just basically taking them, making a ball, and it's, it's cookies. So you do that. <laughs> this is supposed to make two dozen, but we'll see about that. I don't think so, because I make the big. They'll probably mend together, but it's okay. I am not a professional cookie person. Okay, we're gonna make what three six nine at a time. See that might be the right size it's supposed to be. But we go big or go home. Okay, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. I'll do another batch here shortly. So until then, let me clean my hands off real quick. It says to put it in for 10 to 12 minutes. So we'll go with the 12. I'm just gonna take you guys over. The oven is preheated. La -de -da -de -dum. Put it in. Wow, set it for 12 minutes. You can't see. Now I can't see. All right, set, and I'll check back when it's done and give my review. Okay, they're done cooking. There's some still in the oven cooking. I have these ones, so they didn't like flatten like normal cookies. I had to like kind of pew, 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 pew to get them down. So it's time for a taste test, okay? Uh, ASMR time. Pretty good. Now, I thought they were ready because the bottoms, you see, but I don't know. I don't know if they're done done, but there's no like raw ingredients where I'm like, <gasps> uh. so, but yeah, they're pretty good. I could taste the hint of cinnamon I'm put in there. Good idea to do that. I give this a meh. It's meh. Uh, it's meh. Like I'll eat them. But the ones I showed in the beginning, the box, way better. But maybe pecans or whatever. It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So that is it. I will see you in the next video, whatever that video is. Thank you for watching. And yeah, bye.